Okay. If you can, please pray for my forearm. It has really been causing me pain for some time, maybe three months or so. My other forearm used to hurt much, but I guess I can say much, maybe a bit. Maybe that is more accurate to say. But my left forearm hurts a bit. So please pray for it. Let's go to Matthew chapter 7 verse 12. So if you have your Bible, please go to it. Or I can read slow enough for you to understand. Verse 12. Okay. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. So in the expanded Bible here, let me read some of it to you. Do to others what you want them to do to you. Okay. This is the meaning of the law of Moses and the teaching of the prophets. So in essence, do to others what you want them to do to you. Okay. I think so many people want people to cater to them and don't really want to do much for others. Give me this for free. Give me that for free. I want this. I want that. But if I do something for you, you must pay me. You must pay me for my time. You must give me something to do something for you. If I do do something for you for free, it is not really going to be much or I am not going to do it often. Do to others what you want them to do to you. Okay. What if you are praying to God? God, I want a new car. God, I want some Jordan shoes. God, I want a new beanie. God, I want a new couch. I want, I want, I want, but let's say there are people coming your way. Hey, Kevin, can you help me wash my car? <laughs> no, man, no, 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 no. Kevin, can you help me wash my shoes? <laughs> nah, nah, nope, nope, nope. Kevin, can you help me do my laundry. Man, what is your problem? Kevin, can you help me do this and that? What if I continue to say no when it comes down to helping others, but I am praying to God, God, please help me. Man, do to others what you want them to do to you. I believe there are so many selfish people in this world. I think they think more about personal gain than to help out their fellow, I guess I can say their fellow man or fellow woman, if I am saying that right. Aren't we going to reap what we sow? I think as I continue to read the Bible, I believe the principle, you reap what you sow, is so much in the Bible. I think even in the Old Testament. So how can you get away with that? If I want more in life, 
I think I should be willing to do more for God and more for people. How can I expect more in life if I am selfish? Yes, I believe God will reign on the just as well as the unjust. Okay. But what if I am sowing selfishness but expecting much good to come to me? Won't I receive what I put out? If I am hateful and treat people rudely, won't that come back to me? If I am hateful and insult people, won't that return to me? I want good things to happen to me. I want blessings. I want God to be pleased with me. So I should be trying to help or please other people as well in the right way. Not saying compromise the gospel, but I should be willing to be there for people. I want God to be there for me. So how would it like, so how would it be like if I was not there for other people? Come on now. Don't be selfish. Go out there and do things for people. Do some things you may not want to do. Me, I think many times I do things for people I don't want to do, but I want to be pleasing to God. I want to show people, some people I guess, the love of God. Yes, I believe that through us, God can show his love to people. I believe so. Don't be selfish. Don't be the one asking God for much, but not willing to do much for people. Go out there, help people. Oh, Kevin, oh, why can't God just give me things without me doing things for people? Why do you even have that mindset? Why are you even thinking in that way? I am being blessed. I may not be rich, but I am being blessed. So why can't I, why shouldn't I be willing to help others as well? Why hoard up so much things for myself and die? Man, listen now. This is why I think it is important to read the Bible. I think if if we get to heaven, I believe we are going to be rewarded. I think we are going to be rewarded based upon what is in the Bible. So are you going to be rewarded in heaven because you got four degrees in college or whatever else? Are you going to be rewarded in heaven because you saved up one million dollars in the bank? I don't think so. I believe we are going to be rewarded based upon the Bible. So look in the Bible and see what God wants us to do. And I believe we are going to be rewarded based upon what? I believe our deeds, our works, how we are, I believe. I may should show scriptures of that. I believe we are going to be rewarded based upon our works and what we do in Christ, I believe. So go out there and help people. I don't like doing certain things, but I may do it for the benefit of someone else. There is something I do for someone. And for what that person gives me, earthly wise, it's not worth what I do for that person, but I do it because it helps that person, huh? And because I want to please God. I want to reap good things. So why should I only do things for the benefit of I in an earthly sense? I believe doing something for that person is going to benefit me spiritually. I believe so. 
But in an earthly sense, why should I be like, uh, whatever you are paying me is too low, so I am not going to do it. Yes, I know you are in pain or whatever else. Suck it up. Strive through it. That is wrong. Am I saying you should invite everyone inside your house? Am I saying you should bake everyone a cake? Am I saying to invite everyone over for tea? No. What I am saying, do something for someone and let it be often. Maybe for this person, maybe for that person, do something. Don't be selfish. Let me stop here. God bless you.